Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. We are just about to conquer the third planetoid here with Lyra. At the moment my spaceship is still making its way back. As a matter of fact, it seems to be arriving or maybe that has something to do with me just loading the game. Let me see. Oh no, it actually has something to do with the bunker doors not being opened. Oh my gosh, that is slightly embarrassing. Also, we have some meteorites on their merry way. How long is this going to take to arrive? The doors are open, rocket is inside, and we can close them again. Good, now inside the rocket I would like to store a couple of different materials. Instead of just algae, we're now going to bring over, let's see, some refined material. Let's go with gold because we have plenty of that. I'm also going to send over some normal gold just to be secure. This way we can build machinery with higher overheat temperatures. And then I think I also want to send over some glass. Now, how much glass do we currently have? 500 kilograms. We need a little bit more. Probably need to craft some more. Let's go with another 40 crafts or so. What's happening here? Body temperature, not good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, of course, the bloody polluted water is heating up quite a bit and we need insulated pipes here. So I would say as of this point, all of this needs to be insulated as soon as possible. And then that should be an issue of the past. Yeah, I think we can avoid it by just exchanging the pipes. Since we have limited space inside the storage bin, I just want to make sure we collect the right amount of stuff. In the meantime, Lyra is starting to build the great hall and everything required to actually feel a little bit happier. Considering everything, I might want to reset her skills, though the exosuit training is really handy, but I need to get into hard digging very soon. Well, let's just observe and see how the stress actually develops. We have 11 tons of gold amalgam that is actually way more than enough. Let's get rid of that. We also got over three tons of refined gold. I would say that is enough. I'm just sweeping up a little bit of gold amalgam. I don't want 11 tons. That's way too much. There's now 600 kilograms of glass in there, enough for three solar panels. I want to get started with that. And with that out of the way, we basically have everything that we want. I just want people to get a little bit of that gold amalgam. Okay, we're down to six tons. That's good. I'm gonna get this baby launched now. A little bit more pickled meal would be nice. I think, well, we have no pending deliveries. But there we go. We now have enough for 20 cycles. That should be good enough. Now the meteor showers are really close so I kind of want to wait for them to do their thing right there. Okay it's actually one of the bad asteroids that partially destroys our terrain. Oh uh, man they actually made it through here. Darn. It's okay we can fix everything no problemo. Let's just wait for this to be over and then on the other planetoid we still have the same asteroids going on. And then on the third planetoid, we have another ice asteroid. Okay, nice. Who's trapped? You're just a little complainer. Okay, I think it's over. So we're gonna dig everything up and hopefully get things fixed. Good then. Time to open this up. The engine is full. I just have to set this to crew. And this time it's gonna be May. Where are you? May, right there. Okay. Are you ready? We're gonna set the destination to be the third planetoid here. We wanna basically do the same thing we did in the previous episode with the Trailblazer module. Okay, that seems to be fine and begin that launch sequence. Wonderful. Make me proud, May. Before I forget, May, unequip that suit. Take advantage of the fact that we have uh, a oxygen diffuser. Yeah, we actually have enough oxygen in here to breathe. And it's just gonna take about half a cycle to reach the destination. In the meantime, Lyra is continuing her work. It looks like we're gonna arrive in 30 seconds. Oh yeah, I'm really happy for Lyra. As soon as we get to build that landing pad, she officially isn't stranded anymore. So without any further ado, we should get in here again and then of course equip the Atmu suit. So do that first. I'm then gonna deploy May on top of the planetoid right next to the module here, the rocket platform. And there we go. How wonderful is that? May is gonna come out and she should immediately deconstruct this trailblazer module and then build the rocket platform. Let's see this happen. There we go. Yes, build it. Yeah. Good. Now all I need is maybe an emergency ladder so I can reach the various modules. Let's maybe check on the main planetoid what is even necessary. I need one up like eight tiles. So right here, I should be able to build a ladder in order to be able to reach the rocket again. But all May is supposed to do is build this rocket platform. The rest can then be done by Lyra. Colony achievement earned. I did not even realize what was that. Build a launch pad on a world without a teleporter. No! I, no! Oh god, okay, I did not realize. Lyra is actually at a 100% stress level. 
She's also a binge eater. That is really bad. Oh man, if only I hadn't taken away the nature reserve. This was such a rookie mistake. So I think I might actually have to go with a skill scrubber. Can I get her to build this? Let me see. No, she's just eating. No, she's actually going for it. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, if I put Lyra right here into the skill scrubber, then she is not doing anything else, stupid. And also I get rid of her skills. Therefore, at least she's going to be in the plus for the morale bonus. She's actually completely ignoring the skill scrubber. So that is not even a good idea. Maybe I'm going to allow Mei to actually help out a little bit. We now got the platform and also the ladders. That means we can go ahead and send the explorer down. Wait a second. I cannot actually send the rocket down. Otherwise, I will not have enough juice to get it back. That is interesting. So I cannot even go back and forth with carbon dioxide engines. So maybe I'm wrong about this. Let me test this out. I'm going to send the rocket back down. And there it is. It should be capable of arriving. Yes. And then May can also go ahead and enter it again. Lyra actually went down to 60% of the stress now that she basically relieved herself a little bit. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to allow May to help out a little bit, building everything downstairs. We're also going to unequip the suit again. Yeah. May can definitely definitely feel the stress. Good. Fridge is in place. That is the most important part. We're gonna bring everything edible, but most importantly, the pickled meal over here. So we gotta make sure that this has a low priority here inside the rocket. I actually didn't end up resetting all of Lyra's skill points just yet, did I? No, I don't think so. Wait, I need to prevent Lyra from stress reacting again. I think I'm gonna send her back and then uh, up the priority on the generator. Okay, this is already better. We have a mess hall, which means we get some morale bonus. We can even plant a seed here to make it a great haul. Okay, hopefully we can now finish up Lyra, improve her morale a little bit. Now, the problem is she's already at 92, 93 stress level again. Oh my gosh. But we can do it. Just reset those skills. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, that means theoretically the stress level here should change now. Yes, indeed. Look at that. We now have total change per cycle exactly zero because we have high morale with minus 20 stress per cycle. So we just need to get rid of the soggy feet and then maybe add one more room bonus such as the cards here. Let's go ahead and actually speed this room up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Stress 91. So we're lowering. I mean, that would have been devastating if Lyra ate all the pickled meal in one go. While we're at it, I'm also going to allow meat for Ari and also Lyra because they spent their time over there not actually cooking up anything. There it is. I think this is already going to give us... Ooh, okay. We actually get the bonuses. However, of course, we still need to prepare the loop here for our bathroom. So bring this directly over here and it's going to be recycled. Then we need that plant. Let me see. Get a hydroponic farm in here. Let me actually do this differently. I want to get this directly in here so that we can come back into the hydroponic farm. This way we only use the X's. Actually, that's stupid. Of course, we want the polluted water. So instead, we're going to continue right here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, I totally forgot. We probably should have taken with us one of the seeds. Yeah, that was kind of silly, actually. Looks like Lyra is now going for a little bit of research, which means she's going to use the telescope and she's going to start to explore some of these tiles, probably. Where are you? She decided otherwise. Okay, well, I now want to know whether or not I can make it back. It is almost Lyra's downtime. I'm going to let her do the downtime so she can actually eat because we have nothing here. And then I'm going to fly her back. It might very well be that we cannot make it back and we will have to abandon the ship, which isn't that dramatic, but it would still be a disappointment. Yeah, it's just at the brink of 30 degrees, which is a little bit too much. So I think I'm just going to go for a quick and easy solution. We have like 25 degrees polluted water here. All we really need to do is set up a pitcher pump maybe here to be able to collect it and then dump a little bit on top of here. Now, I want to make sure this is actually not happening with the dust caps. They can take up to five degrees more. So maybe before we utilize it, we want to make sure to close this off. I almost completely forgot before I can actually make my way back. I'm Want to set up an automatic dispenser in order to collect all the materials that we have inside the rocket because if we have to abandon it which is much likely then i don't want to miss out on the materials that i actually brought over yeah all of the glass the gold amalgam and everything even the algae in this case i want to empty this entire rocket because it is most likely gonna get destroyed we actually still have 17 tons of algae in here and probably plenty to actually make our way back Come on, guys, you gotta be a little bit quicker about this. 
Yes, okay. There's still 10 tons left. 8.6. Come on, Lyra. You can breathe later. Oh, I totally forgot. Lyra, of course, is absolutely crap at carrying stuff around. We might at least want to get into improved carrying here. Uh, three. Yeah, we could even do suit sustainability training without risking anything. Okay, wonderful. There it is. Okay, we actually made it. That means I can now send the rocket back. But before I do that, I want to make sure we also grab an Atmo suit here for May. Where are you? Hmm. Or maybe we're just going to leave the Atmo suit here. Let's actually do that. We're going to leave the Atmo suit here. So we already have a spare one and we will only have to repair it, basically. That means I want to change the crew again. It got changed whenever I used the Trailblazer module. Change my course and of course we cannot reach the destination we cannot even reach this planetoid but what we could do is abandon the ship closer to the second planetoid than the third one if i go right here i actually don't know which planetoid is gonna pull us closer if i go here same thing but if i go here i'm pretty sure we're gonna be pulled to this planetoid yeah let's go ahead and launch this acknowledge warnings and begin that launch sequence okay may good luck with your journey back and of course now May enjoys all the room bonuses, well apart from a toilet, but who needs a proper toilet? Well apparently May would have been glad about a real toilet, but we don't really have the time 0.3 cycles until we need to abandon ship. And this now means we have plenty of algae on this planetoid, which we're going to use to create the oxygen, 26 tons, as a matter of fact. And we also have some gold amalgam for initial machines. We even have a little bit of refined materials as well. I don't see how anything can go wrong now. We are just going to set up some solar panels and then we could potentially use all the meteorites that are coming down here in order to start cooling down whatever we need to cool down. But yeah, I want access to the crude oil as soon as possible, maybe even the next episode. This is going to ensure that on the first planetoid we can actually build plastic and use that in order to get proper cooling loops going. Right now everything is kind of stitched together. I mean it is working apart from the farm but I think this one here is recovering as well. All right here we go we're now officially a stranded rocket. Let me have a look inside. May is doing a little bit of research. I think I'm gonna let her do that. Lyra peeing on the floor for the seventh or so time. I get it it's harsh. May is not feeling well. I think I'm gonna abandon the mission let's now do this go ahead abandon ship yes confirm that and we're gonna be pulled to the second planetoid this is very good we got the escape pod right here wait did i already miss may going out of there yeah look at that storing material already but i want her to actually use the teleporter here she can go back to the first planetoid okay that was actually not that dramatically hard you need now to go back into the base in order to equip an atmo suit okay very nice that was a more or less successful mission i mean we did lose a rocket in the process but elon also counts that as a success so why not i so i think i'm gonna add another row of farm tiles also this night we're gonna slaughter a whole bunch of flux locks in order to compensate for the lack of food we currently have going on but i figured there might be a better solution if we set up a temp shift plate with uh let's see probably brine ice is what we get the most of yeah checking out the second planetoid here there's plenty of brine ice that we can use in order to cool down various areas on the main planetoid so i'm gonna set up maybe two of these temp shift plates they can start to cool things down i'm gonna set up another temp shift plate over here and there now what am I building this out of? This shouldn't be buildable. So let's set up two temp shift plates here. Maybe another one there and there. Cool things down here in the kitchen area. I might want to cool this water sieve down. Maybe the battery slightly. And then the metal refinery area. We could also cool down a little bit. Yeah, and Ari can take care of all of that. He's going to take a shower, probably. No eating, you lazy bastard. There is the shower. He should not be going for the brine ice. Let's see that happen. Wonderful. Wait, uh, leave that in place. Do something like that. Mm -hmm. And now we get access to all that brine ice. Wonderful. And now please pick it up. New recovering breath. Okay, that's fine. I just want to see you pick up the ice. Okay. Yeah, it is cold, but it's going to be totally worth it to help out the main base, keep it cool. Now, most of the plants are already coming back. That is good. Let's also add another row of meal ice. Brine ice is arriving. Did I set this to a high priority? Let me see the temp shift plates. I want them to be built immediately. Let's see this happen. Yeah, look at that. The temp shift plates are cooling down. Well, at least the environment. And at a certain point, they're just going to melt, which is fine. But at least we can distribute a little bit of chill everywhere they are 
built. Once they are melted, I'm just gonna mop them up. This one here actually melted immediately, but we can see the water sieve is substantially cooler. And right here, we can also see some of the brine drop down to the metal refinery, already cooling it down. But now with the two additional temp shift plates, this should get even better. Plants have died. Uh, oh, 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 crap. Of course, I totally forgot about that, but we can help things out a little bit. Meep is doing a phenomenal mopping job. We can replace that dust cap without issues and then just uh, kind of pick everything up. Wonderful. But now we have agreeable temperatures again. It's going to take a while until this is heated up. Let's also mop that up. But yeah, this is exactly what I like to see. We have plenty of these left actually right here. I have tons and tons of ice and liquid fireballs. We still have a little bit of brine ice left. We shouldn't let it go to waste brine ice. Yeah. I'm gonna cool down the water here a little bit more. Otherwise, I'm actually pretty happy. It's gonna suffice until we move the duplicates over. So maybe the next time we should think about an oxygen system that is gonna replace our current polluted dirt oxygen system with a liquid system. Okay, time to kill all the plug slugs that are starving. I totally missed the night, but we can just hover over them in order to figure out which ones need to be killed. And it's actually not that many. Most of them seem to be holding up pretty well. They are like four or five we can kill. But still, it's going to be enough in order to help us across this little calorie issue we have going on. Of course, now that we fixed it, uh, we're going to be up to speed in no time. Yeah, you know what? This might not be the worst of ideas. My oxygen system, the main system for the worker force, I want to have just beneath the base. I think what I want to accomplish with this system is just to supply enough oxygen for these duplicates. That means also the Atmos suits that are going to remain here. Switching to water for oxygen production, considering the electrolyzer is sucking about one kilogram of water and we need three in order to supply enough oxygen for 24 duplicates. So instead of just supplying the 24 duplicates i think i'm also gonna supply the somnium synthesizer here this way i can at least make a design that is symmetrical and we're gonna see how that performs first of all maybe let's see how much space we're gonna require in the center somewhere here i want to go ahead and set up a pump which is going to be responsible to pump up the resulting hydrogen building everything out of gold amalgam for the plus 50 overheat temperature now hold your horses. I think the top room needs to be the power room. Yeah, we cannot get away without it. Well, maybe let's do something easier. Within stations, I should have my... Oh, wait, we didn't unlock that yet. The transit tubes, of course, we want to go ahead and unlock that so we can already imagine how this is going to look like. We have the transit tube access point right here with the transit tube going out this way. That means this would be the border somewhat. So let's just mark that with the task. Before the transit tube, I want them to change into the Atmos suit. So this is where that goes. Atmos suit dock, we're going to build everything out of gold to be fancy you know but this should be a checkpoint first right there and then a whole bunch of docks now a lot of duplicates are gonna remain inside the base but not really so we need plenty of docks now we have 16 docks like a third of the duplicates is gonna spend their downtime here right and therefore hopefully 16 are enough but we still have plenty of room to spare in case it is not I think I'm already going to do this with the heavy conductive wire also made out of gold and that wire is going to move all the way over here and connect with the main wire and we would be needing a heavy watt conductive joint plate gold right there that's actually apart from the volcanoes also produce some more gold I'm going to do another 90 craft of gold amalgam here in the metal refinery. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't really have enough time to take care of the oxygen system in today's episode. But the next time I think I'm going to build that but with four electrolyzers, we would be needing four kilograms of water per second. We have nothing on the main planetoids that would produce that amount of water. And this cool slush guys here only produces 1.65. We might be able to use the geotuner to make it better. But in order to make it sustainable for 24 duplicates, we probably have to involve the third planetoid, which contains... Let's see, not a chlorine gas vent, but there's something else. Yeah, right here, the cool steam vent. But yeah, I guess we're gonna find out more to that in the next episode. I'm gonna try to switch a little bit to the new system also so that we can slowly start to move the duplicates and maybe think about the next steps for the worker base. And then we can clean things up and start with the huge industry. And all of that here is dependent on Lyra, which is supposed to go ahead and grab some of the oil here. So maybe the next time we are supposed to send over some resources Lyra can use in order to sustain Atmos suits herself. 
We're going to go ahead, set up some solar panels and of course grab the oil, send it over to the main planetoid, maybe even already work on it here. But this looks actually a little bit toasty. And then finally, once we have the initial plastic on the main planetoid, we should be able to start building the first steam turbines and therefore change the entire game. But yeah, I would say until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.